Yo guys, what is happening with my Total Games and welcome to another 1.14 video. This one's not really a block tutorial like the one that we did yesterday where we go through a new block. However, this is another very exciting video that I've been wanting to make. This is about all of the top 10 Minecraft 1.14 seeds that are available now. Um, yeah, I mean just some really awesome seeds that will get you a good start to your survival world. And, uh, and give you some cool places to check out. So I'm very excited about this video. I think that we should just jump right into it with the first seed. All right, guys, I don't know how I'm going to do this video yet. If I'm going to put either the seed up on the screen. I mean, that's not that useful because I'm sure you guys won't want to copy it from there. So what I think I'm going to do is just leave a number on the screen and then the seed down below in the description with the number beside it. So you guys can go ahead and just copy it directly from there. I think that's going to be the best way of doing this. Um, but yeah, we're in the first seed right here, guys. And we are going to start by spawning off in this kind of broken down village. I don't really know what you call these things exactly. I just know it's part of the new 1.14 update. It's looking pretty cool here though. Just some ruins along the shoreline here. The cool thing about this map guys is that you have an ocean right where you spawn. So not only do you have those ruins, maybe you can make some sort of house out of those to live in, but you also have an ocean right over here. There is a sunken pirate ship where you can go ahead right off the bat and uh, and grab everything from if we just go down here you guys can see in the chest you're gonna get some awesome starting farming equipment and whatnot in case you wanted to start a farm some you know beginner food just some useful stuff in general but guys there won't be much use for the farming stuff after i show you the next thing here guys if we tp ourselves over to these coordinates right here that's right 200 and negative 1000 we are going to end up right at a village had to wait a second there for the world to load in, but as you guys can see, we have one of the new snow villages here. It's just super cool and a super fun thing to check out. You got all the new style builds and uh, and just the new village layout in general. Looks like we got a couple igloos right here. If we can sneak in one, wow, look at it. It's kind of cozy. Um, but yeah, definitely like a fun place to come check out. Pretty close to spawn. Again, only about a thousand blocks out. Um, so definitely a cool thing to check out. Maybe just walk to it and and start off in some of these cool houses. Live in a little village here. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, let's move on to the next seed. All right, guys, moving on to the second seed, you're going to spawn right here near the swamp. I suppose you can make a nice little house by the swamp, but that is not why we are here to check out this seed. This, guys, is why we are here to check out this seed. That's right. At just the coordinates, let me just pull them up here, 700 and negative 700. So you do have to do a little bit of walking, but it, honestly, it's not that far from spawn. And you guys will have yourself a really nice woodland mansion. Again, really close. You already know where it is. Super convenient. And you guys can definitely make this in your house. I mean, this is quite the build. Uh, you know, you could even just try to explore it and conquer it. It's just a great build to start off with. And uh, and yeah, it's a definitely useful thing to have. Obviously, you're going to find loot throughout the mansion. So in this case, we have a diamond hoe with some farming supplies and whatnot. And as you explore each one of the rooms, I'm sure you will find more chests and whatnot that you can go ahead and loot. So you're going to get some good starting stuff, plus just an awesome place to live in. Another good thing to note, guys, is that 740 and negative 711, you will end up under this stairwell here. If you poke your way up through here, you're going to be able to find yourself a hidden chest with a diamond chest plate, another diamond hoe, because you can never have too many of those, and you guys get some bonus food there as well. So some great loot there. Uh, don't miss that hidden chest, and definitely a very cool world to check out. All right, guys, we're here on the third seed now, which is a small island out in the middle of the ocean. Now, you're probably wondering what is so great about this small island. Well, First of all, you have not just one, not two, but three pirate ships literally right beside the island. That's right, guys. The first one at the coordinates shown on the screen, about 350 and 15, call it. Uh, you're going to get your first pirate ship here. There's a chest here, if it will open. There we go, guys. It's going to go ahead and give you some paper, books, but most importantly, a buried treasure map. Also, you'll be provided with a chest with a whole bunch of great farming materials, including the new bamboo. So maybe you could play around with building one of those farms. I also forgot to mention that the island does come with a tree. So you can kind of play it like a survival island, if you will, and go ahead and, and start by mining down that tree. Head off in this direction. We're going to go ahead and find the second pirate ship. It's, uh, it's just down here. It's not as big as the last one, but... If you guys go inside, you'll see that you still do get a chest with some great uh, minerals in here and whatnot, a couple emeralds and some iron ingots, just some really useful stuff for starting off on a new world. If that's the island over there, the next pirate ship is located right over here. Again, coordinates will be on the screen for this entire time, so just pause the video and check them out. Um, but here we go, guys. We are at the next location with another chest right over here. Um, not as good stuff with this one. You probably don't even have to go here, to be honest, but you do get a few carrots, some paper, and suspicious stew if you're willing to try it. Well, you guys are probably thinking that is a pretty good island to start off with. We get lots of great starting materials, and we'll be off to a good start in our survival world. However, that is not it, guys. If you go ahead and type the coordinates right here and teleport yourself there, that's negative 375, 1300 roughly, you're going to find 
a new village. That's right guys, after walking or swimming, it's probably about 1500 blocks away. You could use a boat to get here as well, which is super convenient and you will find yourself plenty of houses here that you can inhabit yourself and uh, and just a really cool new village from the 1.14 update. Definitely a cool map to check out. I mean, this is just such a crazy village out on all these islands here and whatnot. Super, super cool seed. All right, guys, for seed number four, we are going to be starting off on this little island here. Hey guys, it might not look like much at first, but if you TP yourself to 280, 100, and 200, you're going to be able to find yourself an entire ocean monument and a top-tier treasure pirate ship. So guys, the ocean monument is maybe something you can come back and conquer at a later day because I don't think that's going to be something that you're going to want to attack right off the beginning of your survival world. But if we head over into the pirate ship, you guys will see that we're going to get some pretty awesome loot from it if we head down underneath here there we go and into the back kind of room over here oh boy my game is uh, kind of glitching out a little bit <laughs> i think that was just my guy getting excited you're gonna go ahead though and find some paper in here and a buried treasure map there's gonna be another chest located at this end of the front of the boat with again lots of good farming supplies for starting up and a little bit of coal too that might help you get some torches going and whatnot and if we go up here onto the top deck you guys are going to see that we have another room here a little captain's meeting room i suppose with some valuables in it that's right some emeralds even a diamond to start off with and some lapids so you guys know that you can get started really good with your survival world right here and then eventually once you're all geared up and ready to go you can go ahead and attack the ocean monument where'd that thing go Right over here, guys, right beside the ship. So, again, be sure to use those coordinates and check out this spot on the seed because you will not regret it. This is awesome. All right, guys, we're moving on to seed number five now. And this one I think a lot of you guys are going to like, and I think I know why. So, obviously, you spawn in the middle of a jungle. But if you head over to negative 170 and around 215, you're going to find the entrance to a bamboo forest that's right any of you guys excited about the new bamboo box that have been added bamboo whoa bamboo blocks that have been added and the new pandas and want to just check them out this is the perfect seed for you guys as you can go ahead and check out the new bamboo forest i mean they just look so epic and also i made an entire video explain everything that you need to know about bamboo so i'll link that down below you guys can be sure to go check that out if you're interested but yeah definitely a fun place to check out and look at you guys can go ahead and find the little panda dudes what's up buddy now, sure, a bamboo forest is good, but if you head over to the coordinates of negative 160, 100, and negative 410, then you will be able to find yourself a jungle temple. That's right, guys. So after you spent enough time playing with all the new pandas and figuring out what you want to do with all your new bamboo, then you can just head your way into the jungle temple here. It does have a couple chests if we head down into the... Uh, into the dungeon here. We're going to find the one chest right here with some good valuables in it. And I believe if you head your way back into the redstone room here, you'll find another chest with some more valuables. Definitely something to check out. And, uh, and yeah, definitely a cool seed. All right, guys, for seed number six here, you're going to be spawning yourself right across from a desert. Now, this isn't just any old desert. If you fly over here, you're going to be able to find some pretty awesome stuff. So again, coordinates on the screen, you're going to run into this awesome desert temple right here which you can actually go ahead and explore of course watch out for the tnt i can't believe that people still even fall for that but uh, if we go ahead and get rid of it there you guys will see all the loot that you're gonna get here just a little bit of junk but honestly what's the book actually it's an impaling four so definitely a, a good book to have um and if we head all the way up here you're also going to notice that there's a village right beside this place so yeah, again, just a really good place if you want to just settle down right when you begin your world, have a nice house is already built for you. I'm loving the little market stands over here. I mean, I think this is just such a cool feature in the new villages. They look a lot better and definitely a great place to live. Now, guys, that's not even it for this world. If you go and head south from here, uh, we're going to go over to negative 230 and 550. We're going to be able to find ourselves one of the new desert villages. So check it out here, guys. You guys can see that there's obviously some different designs in the buildings that they use for the desert villages. And you guys can kind of have a little bit of a choice here in this world of which village you want to live in. Maybe you're playing with some friends and you guys can each take a village and they can be, you know, have a big rival or something. I don't know. You guys could come up with some pretty cool stuff, though, for this world. Again, within about 300 blocks distance from each other. And, uh, and yeah, overall, a great seed. All right, guys, for the seventh seed here, you're going to be spawning right here in this forest biome right next to the river. This will be a good place to maybe gather some resources and prepare for what you're going to see next. It's definitely a little bit of a journey, but if you head over to negative 1350 and 370, you guys will see why this is so worth it. Check it out, guys. We have another one of the new villages. This is the Plains Biome Village, of course. Just a really nice design overall here. And you have a whole bunch of already built builds for you. And even some of your friends, if you want to make this a server, to already go ahead and live in. 
But hold on a second, guys. There is something extremely special about this village, and that is its location. You guys can kind of see the dark oak all around me, and you're probably thinking, oh, man, is there a mansion nearby? You betcha. There is a mansion right over here, guys. So maybe you own the village, and you just sort of want to look over it right from your mansion over here. I mean, check it out. How awesome is this? You have the village and the mansion right beside each other. You couldn't ask for anything better than that. You live in here. All your friends and all the villagers can go ahead and live down there, and you can just look over them like a boss because you you got an awesome seat with a mansion right beside a village. I know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so definitely would recommend checking this one out. Again, world number seven, and, uh, and yeah, very cool seed. All right, guys. So when you spawn in seed number eight here, you're going to be in a spruce I am. However, if you head your way over right here, guys, you're going to see one of the new pillager posts. This thing is pretty cool, guys. It's my first time actually seeing one. Definitely could be a fun spot to kind of set up your first house and whatnot. And, uh, and yeah, just a really cool lookout point. And it also comes with a chest. Let's not forget that. A couple pieces of iron and a crossbow. You can go ahead and start off with here. Some pretty awesome stuff. Also, right over here, there is a cage trap in the middle of the forest. So maybe stay clear from that. I don't think that would be very fun to be stuck in. So definitely watch yourself on that one. Um, but yeah, if we're actually going to head to the cool thing on this world, we got to head over to the coordinates. 600, and then again, I just put in 100 uh, is the Y value, um, and then 250, of course. And you guys will see here a pretty awesome thing. Again, pretty close within about 600 blocks, uh, maybe 800, give or take. Uh, it's kind of a lower tier uh, shipwreck, obviously. However, this one is just loaded with loot. If we head down in here to uh, to where the where the pirates would store all their goodies, and we open the chest again, don't know why it's lagging so much. There we go. You guys can see all the awesome loot that you get here. You get an emerald, and what is this? Six pieces of iron, six pieces of gold, a bunch of nuggets, and some lapis. I mean, there is nothing better than that. So again, all within kind of one area, you get that really cool pillager post. And, uh, and I guess the cage, I don't know what you want to use that for. Maybe make it into some sort of animal farm. And then again, some really great starting items in the pirate ship here. All right, guys. And I've just entered seed number nine right now. And let me tell you that this is quite the awesome seed, mainly because of its location between the spawn and the actual village here. Look at you literally walk not even 15, 20 blocks over and you're dead in the middle of a new village. You got some nice campfires set up for you. Another couple nice houses that you can move into if you wish. A nice little dock there as well for your boats. And uh, yeah, just a really nice starting place. Now guys, interestingly enough, I don't really know what happened to the pirate ship over here. It is a tier three pirate ship just across from the village over here. Again, coordinates on the screen. Um, so if we kind of break our way in here, you guys will see that there is some pretty good loot in here. We have a couple different ores. And is there anywhere else we can go and you'll see? Here's another chest down here again, kind of awkward as it's kind of been placed in the ground and there's a buried treasure map. I believe that is all the loot that you get in this ship. You guys can dig around a little bit more if you want to see if you can find some more, but I believe that is everything. And uh, yeah, just a really cool spot. Yeah, guys, digging around here and I can't seem to locate any more treasure. So I believe that's all the treasure you're going to get with it. But uh, I mean, just such a random spot for a ship to spawn. Just such a weird thing too. I mean, imagine just digging down here and you run into a pirate ship. Let's say you didn't see that. I don't know why you wouldn't see that. But anyway, kind of an interesting thing there for sure. Definitely a cool seed though. Again, you get your village and a pirate ship literally right beside spawn. Can't ask for anything better. All right, guys, here we go. Heading into seed number 10. And right off the bat, you're going to be spawning right next to a jungle. Now, once again, this isn't just any old jungle. In fact, if we TP ourselves, there's a couple different coordinates here that we're going to have to go to. Um, but the first one is one, 300 and 600, sorry. And, uh, and you will find yourself a jungle temple. Right here, guys, down on the ground. If we pop our head in here, we will be able to see some of the loot that you're going to get from this location. Again, watch out for creepers. Watch out for the traps here. I don't think anybody really falls for them that much. But there you guys have it. Some bamboo and rotten flesh. Not the best stuff on the planet. But if we go back here into the other room, we're going to be able to find a bunch of garbage still. Okay, so maybe not the best jungle temple to check out first. But no worries there are a couple other ones here maybe if you want to make that your house you could definitely do that the next one's gonna be at 800 and 300 we tp our way over there and we can check this one out and here we are guys this one's kind of built into the side of a mountain might be a little tricky to get in in survival but i'm sure you guys will have no issue with it if we go ahead here around the corner we're gonna run into some gold in this one so definitely a little bit more useful for sure and again if we break into our little back entrance here more gold and iron will be found so again um some super useful blocks here in this temple and there's gonna be one more to check out next one's at 65 and 1150 a little bit more of a further walk however i think you guys can still do it and let's check out some loot that you can get here jungle temple will be located right here for this one guys and if we enter it whoa whoa that is okay didn't expect that one i don't even think that was a trap i think that was just my computer doing some weird stuff wow this is 
This is getting interesting. Looks like I'm finally allowed down here. That's good. Uh, we can go ahead and check out the chest. So you get here, though, a whole bunch of gold in this one as well. And again, if we head into the back room here, we're going to go ahead and find a whole bunch more gold. Will you guys walk 1,100 blocks for gold? Let me know. I don't know. It might be worth it. might not. You might just want to go ahead and mine. But you do get a whole bunch of really cool structures in this world as well. So definitely something to check out. All right, guys. Well, that is basically going to do it for today's episode. Again, 1.14 has a whole bunch of really cool new structures and just a whole bunch of fun stuff that you can go ahead and explore now. And I'm super excited they added it all to the game. Be sure, guys, to check out all these seeds. Again, they will all be down below in the description, numbered by what I numbered them in this video. So go ahead and copy those into your Minecraft worlds and start checking these out. I mean, there's some really cool ones on here. And I mean, hey, it'd probably impress a lot of your friends, too, if you showed them this crazy seed that you found for survival Minecraft. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to go down below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next video.